All right, today I'm gonna to show y'all how to put in the Zeb trigger connector. This is a real simple process. You're not gonna need many tools to do this other than a punch for taking your Glock apart. And that's really about it. So we'll go ahead and jump into it. So the gun we're gonna be putting this connector in is the Glock 22. And we're gonna start off by checking to make sure the gun is unloaded. Gun is clear. Next what we're gonna do is go ahead and remove the slide from the frame. We do this by pulling these down and then pulling to the rear just a little bit and then sliding it forward. And I'll take the slide away from the frame. We'll sit that to the side. Next we're gonna start by taking out these pins. I'm gonna start with the first pin and that is gonna be the one on top. I'll just go ahead and push that out. Now we're gonna to move to the bottom pin. Sometimes you have to press down on the slide release a little bit to get the pin to break free. The next thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna remove the slide stop, remove the locking block. Now at the rear of the frame, You'll see another pin, this is, another, this is a plastic pin. We're gonna go ahead and push that out. We're gonna go ahead and remove the trigger group in this and you just kinda grab it right here by the back and just pull it out. The next thing that we're gonna do is remove the trigger bar from the trigger housing. You're just gonna pull forward on the trigger bar and then pull it away and then it'll flop over on the spring. Now we have to pull the factory connector out of the trigger housing. If you look on the back of the trigger housing, you'll see the bottom of the factory connector. Right here, I'm gonna wanna place my punch into this little area right there and then press down. And then I'll flip it back over, put my tool right here and then pry it out. Next we'll install the Zev connector into the factory trigger housing. We'll place the connector into the slot like that and then we'll press it down. Once we have the factory connector into the housing, put the trigger bar back. We'll come into it at an angle and then we'll connect it just like that. We now will put the trigger housing and the trigger back into the frame. First thing I'm gonna do is take it and slide the trigger in just like that. Next, I will go ahead and place my trigger housing down and press it to make sure it's locked into place. Next, I will take my housing pin and put it back in to the trigger housing. Next, I will take my locking block and put it into the frame. Press it down, make sure it's back in place. We will take our first pin and we will put it in the first hole. We will take our slide stop. So you all wanna make sure that this spring right here is underneath this pin. You don't want it above it, you want it underneath. We will take the second pin and we will install it into our second hole on the trigger. We'll come back and get our slide, attach our slide to our frame. We'll go ahead and do a function check to make sure it's functioning normal. I'll rack the slide, hammer down to hold down the trigger, rack the slide again, Make sure it resets. So that pretty much wraps this video up on how to change out a connector. I hope the video was helpful. If y'all liked it, please give it a like below. Stay tuned, we'll have more content coming soon.